So the people in my social circle and the people at my job know I'm a huge Eagles fan. And of course, you guys on here know I am. And I always get asked, hey, you know, how are the Eagles going to do this year? How far are the Eagles going to go? Do you think they'll win the Super Bowl? How many games are they winning in the regular season? Are they winning any playoff games if they make the playoffs? Now, like I said in my Eagles fans mindset video, I have Super Bowl mindset from every season from here on out. So I say that. I say we're winning the Super Bowl as a mindset. But as far as the 2019 Philadelphia Eagles, I know in my heart of hearts, okay, that the 2019 Philadelphia Eagles will go as far as number 11 will take us. The Eagles will go as far as Carson Wentz will take us. Now, the three things that I said that will stop us in my trash talking video, right, in my back to the TTC video, right, the three things that I said that will stop the Eagles this year, right, three is injuries, the health of Carson Wentz kind of lumps that together, and our secondary, our corner specifically, okay? Notice how I didn't say Doug Peterson's play calling, okay? I will not complain at all about Doug Peterson's play calling, at all, all right? And this is why, okay? Doug Peterson's play calling has been a hot topic from this fan base, um, he's definitely made some controversial play calls that have costed us games, um, especially during the 2016 season, especially. I'm not going to deny that. But as far as 2017 on, to be honest, he's he's been pretty on point, okay? Some Eagle fans on here are pretty picky about his play calling, all right? And after what Nick Foles did leading us to the Super Bowl, and after what Nick Foles did to turn our season around and get us into the playoffs... It is clear as day to me that when the players do their job and the quarterback makes the right reads, this system will work. Nick Foles threw for 470 yards and four touchdowns on the Houston Texans defense. Okay, When the quarterback, again, makes the right reads, goes through his progressions, and delivers with accuracy... This system will work. So it's on the quarterback. It's on Carson Wentz. Because on paper, now I'm not I'm not gonna say that this is gonna happen for this year, but on paper, as of right now, the offense that we have in the building right now at the Novacare, this offense could be the best offense that the Philadelphia Eagles have ever had. It could be. This year's Philadelphia Eagles offense could be the best offense the Eagles have ever had. Could be. If Carson Wentz plays to his capabilities. Now, I wanted Nick Foles to stay. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, okay? I wanted Nick Foles to stay. I have not, I've never seen an Eagles team rally around a quarterback like they did for Nick Foles. The Shrine, you know, everybody believed in him. You know, and Foles was different as far as how clutch he was in games. Okay, that that was a huge factor for me personally. But that doesn't mean that I don't know what a healthy Carson Wentz is capable of. I do know what a healthy Carson Wentz is capable of. Okay, and as far as his contract goes, if we get 2017 Wentz, that contract is one of the biggest bargains in NFL history if we get 2017 Wentz. If we get last year's Wentz with that contract, it's the worst quarterback contract that the Eagles will have ever made. Okay, this that contract that we gave to Carson Wentz, that, that's boom or bust right there, in my opinion. Okay, some of you guys asked me that, right? If, if, like I said, I'm going to say that again. If, if we get 2017 Wentz, that contract down the road will be one of the biggest bargains in NFL history. If we get 2017 Wentz. 
if we get 2018 Wentz, that will be the worst quarterback contract this franchise has ever given out. Period. Carson Wentz has had an ACL and LCL injury and a fracture in his back all already within his first three seasons. So, obviously, there is some injury concern. But, you know, reports coming out say he's healthy, you know, the knee braces off. So, I'll believe it till I see it. But, like I said, okay, this season, okay, the Eagles will go as far as Carson Wentz will take us, okay? And and I still stand by the statement that I made earlier, that potential, potentially, all right, potentially this year's Eagles offense could be the best offense we've ever had, okay? We have every single wide receiver you could possibly think of, okay? we You have your possession receiver, your big, tall number one that can go up and get it, and Alshon Jeffrey, all right? You have one of the best, if not the best, deep threat wide receiver of all time in Deshaun Jackson. Okay. You have your slot receiver who runs crisp routes and Nelson Aguilar. Okay. You got a receiver that's even taller than Alshon Jeffrey, who has the potential to even be better and going up and get it than Alshon Jeffrey. And J.J. Arcega Whiteside, the rookie we took out of Stanford with the second round pick. We have him coming back as well. We have Zach Ertz, who broke Jason Witten's reception record in a season. Zach Ertz is a top three tight end in the NFL. Um, Dallas Goddard going into year two, I believe, is going to be an absolute stud. One of my bold predictions is that I think Dallas Goddard is actually going to get more touchdowns than Zach Ertz this year. That's how high I am on him. He's It's his second year in the system, second year with Carson Wentz. Um, the chemistry is there with him. I already see it in the clips. And I think Dallas Goddard is going to be our stud for next year. He's going to have his breakout year. But um, like I said, we have every single type of receiver possible on this roster we have two stud tight ends we have every possible running back you could think of we have our power back at Jordan Howard okay we drafted Miles Sanders to be that one cut back right that shifty back that we can hand off the ball uh Corey Clement can be a pass catcher for us so at the skill positions we're absolutely loaded offensive line okay we took Andre Dillard in the first round, who's a stud offensive tackle. Now, he doesn't have to play the first year. Granted, he can if we knew to, but he doesn't have to, okay? I truly believe this is Jason Peters' last year, and uh, Big V will be the substitute for him, not Andre Dillard. And, of course, we've got Lane Johnson at right tackle, okay? You know, what better place for Andre Dillard to sit for one year and learn from than then behind Jason Peters, Lane Johnson, and Jeff Stoutland, our offensive line coach. So, and then combine that with our coaching and our system, because like I said about Doug Peterson's system and his play calling, when the quarterback makes the right reads and the players do their job, okay, this system will rip teams to shreds. It has been proven by Nick Foles time and time, twice. It was proven. Okay, so this offense can be, like I said, as good as good as Carson Wentz could t make it. Okay, we we have one of the top lines in the league. We have every single kind of wide receiver you could ask for. We have two dominant tight ends. Okay, defensively. Okay, I, I've I've already been on record saying that this year's defensive line can be even better than what we had during our Super Bowl season. Tim Jernigan is not our starting defensive tackle anymore. We upgraded from Tim Jernigan with Malik Jackson. Okay. We still got Brandon Graham, you know, comparing from our Super Bowl season. And we got Derek Barnett going into his third year rather than him being a rookie, comparing that from our Super Bowl team. Right. Granted, uh, Chris Long retired, but we still got young guys that we drafted that will step up. Josh Sweat going into his second year. Okay, Vinny Curry we brought back. Okay, Sharif Miller, the kid we drafted. Okay, 
this defensive line can be, can be, and honestly should be better than what we had during our Super Bowl year. Okay, linebackers Zach Brown and Nigel Bradham. Those are our two linebackers in our 4-2-5. Okay, safeties were set. Malcolm Jenkins, Andrew Sandejo. Andrew Sandejo being my dark horse free agency move this year. Out of all the free agent moves that we made this year, the dark horse in all of them is Andrew Sandejo, the safety from the Vikings. Okay, huge pickup. Okay, him, having him back there as our third safety rather than, well, you know, old Corey Graham, that's going to make a huge difference. All right, anytime we have to put Malcolm Jenkins up in the box, we'll have Andrew Sandejo backing him up rather than Corey Graham. That's a big deal. All right, and of course, we got Rodney McLeod coming back. So, like I said before, the three things that could stop the Eagles this year injuries, you know, Wentz not playing up to standard, and the cornerbacks. Those are the three things that could stop the Eagles this year. But all in all, okay, this season is on Carson Wentz, right? I mean, no, no other way around it. And this could this could be the best offense we've ever had. It could be. You know, if, like I said, quarterback makes the right reads, makes the routine throws, goes through, the, makes the right progressions, and the players do their job, okay? Football is a simple game. Okay. Simple. Right? So that's your daily video for today. Okay. The Eagles will go as far as Carson Wentz will take us. Whether that's the Super Bowl, whether that's a six of ten sloppy record, whatever it is, okay? This season is ride and die on Carson Wentz. Okay. He has huge expectations from Nick Foles from carrying us to a Super Bowl and winning a playoff game at Chicago versus the best defense in the league. If Nick Foles can do it, then from a talent and an athletic standpoint, Carson Wentz should, but he's got to stay healthy and he's got to go through his progressions. If he does that and we get 2017 Wentz, if we get 2017 Wentz, then this offense will be the best offense we've ever had. If we get 2017 Wentz. If we get 2018 Wentz, that contract's going to be a joke. Right, probably the biggest joke that we've ever done at the quarterback position, worse than Sam Bradford. Okay, because Sam Bradford, all all it was was him. I mean, we knew that Sam Bradford wasn't talented. We knew that going in. Okay, that's one thing. Okay, and he had two bad knees. Okay, so that's expected of him to decline. Okay, we knew that Wentz had a fractured back and a torn ACL and LCL. And still gave him that deal two, base three years into in. So that's basically my thoughts, guys. If we get 2017 Wentz, we're going to the Super Bowl. If we get 2018 Wentz, we're lucky to maybe win nine games most. And that's because this roster is that good in my eyes. So. And